This particular vlog is directed at people new to software development, new to coding, new to programming. And uh, I want to help take away a basic insecurity, a fear that a lot of people getting into the game have. And that fear is, is not knowing what you need to know to be productive as a professional web designer, web developer, app developer, any type of coding really. This is a misconception because you go out there on YouTube or on the web, they talk about this framework or that language, you got to learn this framework, we got to learn this language. And at the end of the day, a lot of that is very exaggerated. There's a lot of people who have positions, they have, uh, you know, they have points of view, and you're going to see that all the time. Just like some people are going to say, I love Porsche, or I love BMW, I love Audi. And, you know, all the cars are great, right? And as I've been saying in many of my vlogs, Many, well, all of the top programming language today, languages today are very, very capable in what they do. I would, I say they're all good. The top 10, top 20, for sure. What you have to do as a professional developer is choose the right language for the right type of job. Now, getting back to that insecurity of not knowing enough, when do you know enough to be able to be a professional developer? Well, from my experience going back 23 years, the key to all of this is understanding those foundations, those foundational concepts and principles, and just understanding programming and coding and software development in general. Then from there, you'll be able to learn any framework, any new language even, you need to learn based on the project. So let's say you wanted to get a job in AI programming, right? Well, once you learn your foundations, your fundamentals of programming and AI, it's dominated by Python for the most part. You would then go work on some AI-specific frameworks. You know, TensorFlow is Google's, and that would be the first one I would go work with. So you learn your basic Python, then you go learn TensorFlow, and you see how it works, and you experiment with it, and then you take it from there. Let's say, on the other hand, you decide you're going to become a freelancer, and uh, you find out that a lot of these businesses are running WordPress. So what do you do? You go learn WordPress, you learn about the WordPress ecosystem, understand what the, what's out there, what, what options you have in terms of tools to build WordPress sites, and you continue from there. So I got an email recently from a student of mine who started up on a new project, it was a web-based project, and they ran into the same thing. It was some unique project, something in the website that they needed that he had not explored before. But because he had a strong foundation in the fundamentals, he was able to easily learn new stuff. So, in summary, don't think you have to learn everything you hear about out there because nobody, let me say it again, nobody knows all these things. Nobody knows half of these things. I've been do doing this for 23 years. I've written software in nine different languages. And I've learned more languages, but I don't count them because I didn't write commercial code, I didn't get paid to do it, or I didn't make money with those other languages that I experimented with. But I today forget, I literally forget much more than I know now. It doesn't bother me at all because if I would need to learn a new framework, I need to, new, need to learn a new language, I just have to, I know that I have my foundations really solid. It's not that difficult for me. At this point, I can learn a new programming language in a matter of hours. I can, product, I can be productive within a couple of days. It's, it's, and it's not because I'm a genius, no. It's just because I have that base, that foundation. And that's the key to it. So when you're looking at learning how to code, don't get caught up with language that you're learning. Don't, it's not a waste of time. So let's say you decide to learn JavaScript. And then, you, and then you find out that you really prefer doing mobile apps with native code, Swift, for example, or, or you prefer doing PHP or whatever. It doesn't matter. Do you, that JavaScript training is not wasted because the principles in the JavaScript are 100% just about applicable to any of the modern programming languages, with some exceptions. So it's not a waste. So you're never wasting time when you're learning a new framework, a new language, uh, or you go deeper into a new language or a new IDE, integrated development env environment. One of my expressions is, the more you learn, the more you earn. Keep that in mind. So there's no wasted learning. And number two, a reality of being a professional developer, a professional coder is that you have to understand that you're going to be constantly learning as you go. 
it's just par for the course because every project is unique. You can have a shopping cart e-commerce system and for every business, they're gonna have different requirements. So there's gonna be new implementations. So that brings me to my last expression. I like to, I should trademark this. Need to nerd basis. You have to expect to have to learn on a need to nerd basis. This is just the reality of professional development. So to wrap it all up, don't be worried that you don't know enough. Learn your foundations, learn your basics, and just get into it. Start building stuff and expect you're gonna to have to learn things as you go. No big deal. That's how all developers work these days, okay? That's about it. It's Friday afternoon. It's uh, still cold. It's April. Cold in Montreal. But it's a beautiful day, as you can see. Ciao, guys.